So one famous implementation or design of commit chains is Plasma, Plasma Cache. So in Plasma Cache, you have a centralized operator, and again, you have here a set of users. And this operator commits a checkpoint to the underlying blockchain. This checkpoint is a Merkle tree, uh, and every leaf is a coin, right? So if you have, if you, if this is the root of the Merkle tree, then let's say you have here this kind of binary Merkle tree. And let's say this is coin number one, this is coin number two, coin number three, and this is coin number four. And these particular coins, they they are associated to a particular owner. And um, it's kind of like a serial number coin. So when you deposit, uh, when a user comes about and he deposits like one coin, then this one coin gets added to the Merkle tree, right? And then this is the particular coin, C5 here, which you can send to another peer um, through this uh, centralized operator. Now, um, you, cannot, you cannot divide this coin, right? If you want to send this coin from A to B, then you have to send the coin C5 in its entirety, right? You cannot uh, divide it or whatnot. This is not possible. You have to send its entirety. And what you also need to do, you need to send the entire history of the coin, right? So you need to say the coin, so if this particular peer here wants to receive the coin C5, then he has to know he, when he received the coin, he has to know when he received the coin, and he has to know when this guy actually deposited the coin into the chain, right? So the, the deposit. So you need to verify the whole history of the coin. But this is a quite quite an interesting concept because you you can perform transactions off chain. So these here are off chain transactions. They don't consume any any on chain gas or, or transaction fees. Um, and you only need like initial deposit, right? Um, so it's it's quite an interesting concept. Um, the only drawback, I think, the, the major drawback is that you cannot like divide the coins further. So if you want to pay, for example, 2.5 bucks, but you have only a 2 and a 0 0.5 coin, then you just send these two coins to the to the recipient. But overall, this is a yeah, very interesting concept.